Welcome. In this video, we will look at the definition of the derivative in order to calculate the derivative of the formula 2x divided by 3x plus 1. When doing the derivative, it helps to start by writing down the name of our function. Let's name our function f of x so that we can talk about it with function notation. And so my f of x is 2x divided by 3x plus 1. When I calculate the derivative, the definition of the derivative, f prime of x is our derivative function, and it's defined by what we get if I take a limit of a difference quotient. That means I take my f and I evaluate it at x plus h, this is a second point, and I subtract f of x, that's the point I'm interested in, and I divide it by h. So this numerator is measuring how much my function changes, the change in my output. And the denominator is x plus h minus x, I'm left with h. This is how much my input is changing, and so this is my rate of change. I take a limit as h goes to 0, which means that the two points that I'm thinking about are getting closer and closer together. All right, so what are our steps? We're going to need to find a formula for f of x plus h. We're going to simplify this subtraction in the numerator so that I can simplify what happens when I divide by h. I can't take a limit as h goes to 0 as long as the h is in the denominator because you can't divide by 0. So we start. Our first step is to calculate f using the formula x plus h instead. When I take a function and I evaluate it, every x in its formula is going to be replaced by the input of my function. And so for this example, I put 2 times the quantity x plus h and in the denominator, I take 3 times the quantity x plus h, and then add 1. When we simplify our calculations, it's usually common that I want to distribute across addition. So 2 times the sum x plus h, and 3 times the sum x plus h will expand. In the numerator, I get 2x plus 2h, and in the denominator, I get 3x plus 3h plus 1. A common mistake is not to distribute, and then we lose a term. In my difference quotient, I now need to calculate f of x plus h minus f of x. So let's calculate the change in my function, my delta f, which is what I get when I take the formula I just found for f of x plus h, and I subtract f of x. For this rational function, my f of x plus h became 2x plus 2h, over the quantity 3x plus 3h plus 1. And my original function, f of x, is 2x divided by 3x plus 1. When I'm doing a difference quotient involving a rational function, I have these quotients. I have fractions. And so I need to simplify. And the way that I do that is I need a common denominator. If I thought about what happens with ordinary fractions, if I have an, a number divided like a over b, and I subtract c over d, the way I find a common denominator is I look at the denominators, and I find their least common multiple. I can always create a multiple just multiplying them together. If they share any factors, then Maybe I would simple, there's a simpler way, but I can always think of this as um, the product. And when I do that, I get that my difference can be written as, um, as a subtraction involving my common denominator. I need to remember that this entire formula is my denominator. And a common mistake is students want to just add 3 h to the two terms on the right. That does, not, that does not work. So when I use the common denominator approach and I simplify, uh, my first term has a denominator 3x plus 3h plus 1, but it's missing my other factor. And so my change in my function I can write as 2x plus 2h. 
and I need to multiply by the other denominator. And then we'll subtract our 2x from the numerator times the first denominator, 3x plus 3h plus 1. And then in the denominator, I have the product of my two denominators. My goal is to simplify. And the reason I'm simplifying is so that I can factor. So let's summarize that. The reason I bring this up is my denominator is already factored. There's no point in multiplying this out if I just am, my goal is to factor. So I'm only going to simplify the numerator, and I'm going to leave the denominator in its currently factored form. So let's simplify the top, and I need to uh, multiply out my terms. I do that with FOIL. 2x times 3x gives me 6x squared. My outside terms gives me plus 2x. Inside terms gives me 6xh. And my last terms gives me 2h. And then I'm going to subtract. <clears throat> and this 2x has to distribute to every term. So I get minus 6x squared, minus 6xh, and minus 2x. And then I'll divide all of this by that denominator, 3x, 3h plus 1, times 3x plus 1. I can simplify my numerator. 6x squared cancels. 6xh cancels. And 2x cancels. So what's left? I have my change in f, I'm left with 2h in the numerator, and then 3x plus 3h plus 1 times 3x plus 1 in my denominator. All right, so this is my delta f, and in my definition of my derivative, I actually need the difference quotient. I need to calculate the change in my function divided by the change in my x. And so we're going to take what we just found, my change in my function, and I need to divide it by h. And so it's the original numerator, 2h. I divide it by h, and I divide it by the factors that were already in the denominator. And uh, notice that I'm going to be able to cancel my h's. This is why I found that uh, simplified numerator. Multiply by h, divide by h, those cancel. And I have a simplified formula for my difference quotient. I get 2 divided by the product of those uh, denominators. OK, we found a simplified formula for my difference quotient. My goal is to find the derivative. And that means I need to take the limit as h goes to 0 of the formula that I found. So let's clean up our screen a little bit. So now that I have my simplified difference quotient, I'm ready to calculate my derivative. My derivative, f prime of x, is the limit as h goes to 0 of my difference quotient. And so we'll replace the difference quotient by my formula. That puts this formula in my input. And as h goes to 0, the only h in my formula is here at this uh, denominator term. As this h goes to 0, the output to my limit ends up having a 0 where the h used to be. So that I get a simplified formula. Notice that when I set that h to 0, 3x plus 1 times itself, I could write that as 2 over the quantity 3x plus 1 squared. And this is the formula that I'll use for my derivative. So in summary, when we found the derivative using the definition, our first step was to find a simplified formula for the difference quotient. And when I did that, then I, set the h, I let the h go to 0, and the formula that I get is the derivative.